to stop playing for just a moment to look down at what we're doing today. The iconic Capricorn studio is back. This time, taking on a new generation of musicians. When people come in to record, it's not going to be a recreation of the Capricorn sound. It's going to be the Capricorn sound that made those monumental records in the past. After being preserved for the past several years, Mercer has stepped in to permanently raise it from the dead. Introducing Mercer Music at Capricorn. A proper tribute involves a lot more than just preserving this place. Because musicians like the Allman Brothers and Marshall Tucker Band and managers like Phil and Alan Walden deserve it. When I think of all of the artists who were a part of Capricorn, I don't think of museum pieces. Now young musicians can come, get together, and develop their sound in what feels like the same place as what was used by Southern rockers before them. A lot of the original materials, fixtures, finishes are in place from when it was recording the mega hits that were recorded here. Music to a city's ears rich in tradition. There is no other city in the world that has this much excitement swelling over music landmarks. In Macon, Michael Warwick, 41 NBC News. And guess what, everybody? The entire space above the studio will be converted into apartments and office space, and it'll be called the Capricorn Lofts.